If you are wondering how to analyse return on equity, this video will look at the profitability accounting drivers of return on equity. Two other videos look at the leverage and efficiency accounting drivers of return on equity. Abnormal earnings is an accounting measure of value add to equity investors. It is not a transfer of value as is the case with dividends and free cash flow. Now, abnormal earnings equals return on equity minus row E minus 1, all times book value of equity. Another way of saying this is that abnormal earnings is driven by three things. Return on equity, cost of equity capital, and the book value of equity. One of the accounting drivers of abnormal earnings is return on equity. In turn, there are three parts to a firm's return on equity leverage, profitability and efficiency. In this video, we will focus on profitability. Profitability of a firm can be measured in a few different ways. A common way to look at profitability is to look at profit margins. Profit margins are often expressed as a measure of profitability as a portion of sales. We will use operating income after tax, OI, as our measure of profit when calculating profit margins based on our restated financial statements. You'll see in the ratios worksheet in our spreadsheet, we will also use net profit after tax for profit margins based on our firm's financial statements. I find in business most people have a strong understanding of the concept of profitability. Most people have a clear grasp of the idea of profit margins, which is how much profit I make from each dollar of sales. The idea of selling something to customers for more than it costs you to buy inputs from suppliers and to transform those inputs in some way seems clear enough to most people. Also, it is easy to grasp the idea that if you do not make an adequate profit margin, you will quickly go out of business. Indeed, the concept of a firm's profitability largely cuts to the chase in terms of a firm's ability to add value to equity investors. It is seen as in some way core to the activities of a firm. As I said, we define profit margin as operating income after tax divided by sales. The profit margin focuses our attention on the profitability of each dollar of sales. The more profit a firm can achieve from each dollar of sales, the greater the value add to equity investors. The average profit margin in the US is about 6%, but can vary widely between industries and between companies within industries and over time, depending on where we are in the economic cycle. Many firms can be expected to have profit margins more than about 10% or less than about 3%. As I said earlier, in business I find most people have a strong understanding of the importance of profit margins in generating returns to shareholders. However, I often find much less understanding of the fact that profit margins are not of importance in themselves, but rather it is the interaction or combination of profit margins with efficiency, the amount of sales generated by each dollar of net operating assets invested in the business, that is critical. We consider efficiency in the video Analyzing Return on Equity Efficiency. For further information on analyzing the profitability accounting drivers of return on equity, go back to Chapter 4, Section 4.3 in the Study Guide and review Understanding the Past Weekly Questions. Also answer Write and Rate questions in Peerwise.